Okay, core activation for handstands. This is something that I struggled with for a long time and it was like, how do you even? So if you have ever seen someone who hasn't done a handstand for a while go up into a handstand, you'll likely see the banana back where they kind of everything falls open at the front and is flip their uh, legs over. So we're going to work on having a strong core. So three exercises for you that are specific to handstands. First one is a dish and there's three different levels. So let's have a look. Coming down, this is, um, we'll start with the easiest level, okay? So um, just see how it feels and if it feels okay, then we can progress to the next one. Uh, so what it looks like is back is completely flat the entire time. Your belly button wants to draw down into the floor. Knees are directly over top of your hips and we're gonna extend our arms up directly overhead Head is nice and long and neutral, all right? If this is okay, we're gonna hold it for 30 seconds times three. If it's feeling too easy, we're gonna to go to the second progression, okay? Oh, so what it looks like is your legs are going to straighten. So let's go up again. Make sure the back is flat, belly button sucks in, legs straighten, arms straighten, same thing. Holding it for 30 seconds times three, squeeze, 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 and relax. That wasn't 30 seconds, just so you know. You're going to have to time your 30 seconds by yourself. <laughs> okay. And then last level, if you can do that, is your legs can go anywhere between that position and down as close as you can to the floor. Right? So same thing. Prep yourself. Legs extend. Squeeze this down. Make sure that's just always on. Holding and then time yourself. Aim is to get up to minute holds, okay? That's number one. Number two, we're gonna flip over onto your tummy and straighten out your arms. We're focusing this time on, <laughs> you're not gonna be able to see much, so don't worry, but this one is focusing on just activating through your belly button up towards your spine so you can relax everything else in your body. This is just focusing on that small area, drawing up your pelvic floor. And so the aim eventually is to work this and strengthen it so much that there's a resting tension in this space. So it's always on when you're upside down. Also when you're work, walking, so it will reduce any back pain that you have ever. So we're going to do this for 30 seconds times three again in your own timing. So uh, the we're not doing... <laughs> We're not doing this <laughs> and we're not kind of lifting up like this. It's a very subtle movement. You should just be feeling all these muscles in the lower part of your abdomen turn on, okay? And they should be on fire and we're aiming towards getting one minute holds, okay? That's number two. Number three is using a wall. So find a wall. We're going to lengthen out our body. So this one looks like a handstand, but we're horizontal, not vertical. Okay, so we're tying some things together now. Pressing your hands against the wall. You're lengthening through your whole body. Your head is in a neutral position. Your legs are extended, feet pressing into the floor and squeezing through your bottom. Again, that little tuck through your belly button toward your spine. And you've got to press into the wall like you're in the handstand. Keep pressing, pressing, pressing. Again, same length of time holds. And we're working up toward minute holds for that one as well. So they're your three exercises to practice to make your core super strong for handstands.